Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Ian Toll. I've been asked to lead this service today. It's a great honour indeed. As you gather in such great numbers here at this venue, which I'm sure is one of his favourites, we say goodbye today to Greg James Clark. His family with us today, we pay our respects and offer our sincere condolences to his family. We can't possibly understand the grief that they suffer. Of this young man of 50 years of age who's left us, leaves these lovely people, and leaves you as friends who gathered today in his tribute. Greg was born in 1961 in Launceston, Tasmania. His journey through life of 50 years has taken him and followed his destiny to today we all gather together to say our farewell. As a caring group, you gather for many reasons, that he was part of your life, you understood him, he was part of your life, he understood you. And today, in paying your respects, I ask you all to lock away some very special memories. To the family today so gathered, who you I know will give your support, care and respect. To his wife, Sarah, his father, Lyle, sister, Kendall, Sister Penny and Brother Richard. These are the people today who are our focus, without doubt. Remember, they're part of loved ones for Greg. You have your own loved ones. I respect these people today so much. Greg's passing confirms, I'm sure, to many people, two things. His journey through life was with two groups, his family and his friends. Friends made and kept in challenging circumstances. Greg, as I understand, loved life. Loved his family, made friends and kept them in the challenging circumstances without doubt. So as you celebrate his life today and farewell him, to acknowledge his life of 50 years, his achievements, a busy time in his life, without doubt, death can have no sting when you think of his life. And so, to you all, remember this, he is, has been and always will be, to this family, and I hope yourselves, very much a part of your life. Our major focus today is having people speak about his life, to bring us back to reality, to let us know the person he was. And our first speaker <coughs> today is Phil English. We invite Phil. You may give him a round of applause. Thank you. I first met Greg when I was 17, working with the PA doing cover bands all over Sydney. One of these gigs, the PA was hired for a, a real band. The specifics escaped me, but Clarkie asked me if I could do the next gig with him. Clarkie plucked me from obscurity. The truth is, I'm still there, from obscurity that is. And yes, my head said yes, my heart said oh shit. Next gig was down in Sylvania and Greg was kind enough to give me a ride. Pretty worried that he'd find out how old I was because I wasn't old enough to work in the pubs to learn drinking them. I also remember trying to look at the gentleman's magazine that Greg had uh, spread out on the steering wheel. <laughs> at his F100. Was it? And he caught me looking at it, he said, uh, are you watching the road, mate? And uh, yes I am. Uh, over the next 12 months I learned and was exposed to situations and experiences and knowledge I hold dear to this day. Look out at this gathering, see people who in some way, shape or form had had the same experiences so far as Greg was the catalyst for bringing us on board. I see people who have gone on to world tours, people who have worked for Australia's biggest acts and beyond that the ones he produced and mixed the rest of you here today. And there are the ones who have gone forth and used a leg up from Clarkie as a career. The honour and importance of being able to Convey my thoughts here today goes beyond swapping road stories. The real story I wanted to tell is about the Clarky who touched the hearts of all of us here today. A role model to us all. Clarky had the biggest heart in Australian rock. It was in the last decade in particular, Greg was always there. He would put tireless and untold effort into any person, mate, band, or cause that he was involved with. Greg gave his experience and knowledge to many a person in need. 
So big was his heart that he was forever involved in organising benefits for so many of our fallen comrades, heroes. He was selfless and tireless in his mission to help others. I was taken the other night to Gav Hansen on the phone and we both reminisced that if you saw the number flash you knew it was going to be a long one. <laughs> that being said, he loved the chat and I love chatting with Greg. His chat's with pure heart. All I can say is Greg, you gave so much. You cared for those around you and you're sorely missed, mate.